Hello, hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mighty High and if you like this kind of stuff Hello, hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mighty High and if you like Minecraft content, let's plays and also tutorials, then be sure to subscribe because I publish on almost a daily basis. So I've got new content for you guys to enjoy pretty much every day. So in this video I am going to be building a wood farm or a tree farm as they call it and this is going to be fully automatic and the way I'm going to do that is by using pistons and also by using TNT dupers thanks to El Mango of all things. So without further ado let's get into the episode. Alright, so to start off with, it might be a good idea to uh, figure out how tall we can grow a oak tree and still push it, because obviously an oak tree like that is going to be completely ridiculous and we won't be able to push it. So uh, I think we uh, are going for like the four or five block tall oak trees like these ones here. Uh, so that's what we need to figure out. So I'm just going to use this space here to build it, I guess. So let's grow this and see how tall we get it. And that's uh, that's pretty much the size we're looking for. So now, what might be a good idea? Let's get some blocks out. I need to get an observer, I guess. Yeah, let's get an observer out. And we need to detect this block here. So I think it's facing down that way. So every time this grows, this observer will go off. So then we can use that to... Uh, know where our pistons are so our pistons are going to be facing this way like so so let's get rid of this tree now and we can place them up to about here I think so now we know that this will eventually uh, be where the starting point for our farm is so these pistons are going to push the wood over to this side and then we can build a piston feed tape after that so the next thing is to actually power these pistons. So that's a good question. So let's get some blocks out. I've got a block here. So we need to power that one there, that one, and that one there, I think. So if we power that, that powers them three. And then this one will power the other three. So we need to get power to these two blocks basically from this observer, I guess. Alright, so I figured out how to power all six of these pistons now. So these yellow blocks are is the redstone for it. Um, it's not very compact, I must say. And there's probably better ways of doing this. Uh, but I'm just doing this off the top of my head to be honest with you guys. Uh, so I'm just taking you guys along for the ride. Uh, so the next thing we want to do now is to connect this observer here to this block here that powers all these pistons. So that's what we need to do and we can do that simply by just running a redstone line. So let's uh, probably get a different colour out. Let's use green for example. So now we need to connect this. So I think we're going to be using a repeater for this one just so it's um, properly powering this block so it can power everything else and then we can run redstone from this observer here uh, so I think we can go back this way instead and then just go up here like oh not there up here maybe oh Alright, so I've got the uh, green redstone line in now, so it should just be a case of running redstone down to this block here, or this repeater. I've had to move it over to this side, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, because I would really have liked it to go out this way. Uh, I suppose I could do that for the redstone instead, that's just me being stupid then, isn't it? And then run it like that, I think that will do, so... Every time this receives an update, all these pistons will go off. And when I get rid of this block, all them pistons go off. Did that bottom one go off? Let's just check that quickly. I couldn't quite see it. Yep, they're all going off. So let's just prove that by 
moving all these pistons so the next block and they all move so that's all working fine so we should be able to technically grow a tree here and as soon as it grows it um, gets pushed off or the wood blocks get pushed off to the right so let's test that with a tree so it can take some time to grow but you've seen all these wood blocks there get pushed and then we can do that a couple more times as well just to show you so it can take a while to grow but that should have grown sometimes that happens though but then yeah that's a bit of an annoyance I don't know why that happens it's like it grows too fast for the update to happen so maybe I need to uh, increase the timing on the redstone and this one's taking ages to grow so it's doing it again so maybe we need a repeater on four ticks there instead so that it gives it enough time to uh, oh, or maybe it just didn't get an update because there's no block there that's a possibility as well so this might need to be moved down a block which is most likely the case so, oh, but if I move it down a block it's just going to constantly keep getting that piston update so I can't move it down a block that's a bit annoying uh, let's figure this one out and I'll get back to you guys alright ladies and gentlemen I think I've figured out the problem now basically it's uh, to do with the amount of wood it's got near it so bas because it's got no wood uh, near it at the moment it's uh, registering it will give a block update um, but as soon as we grow another tree the wood will be higher so it will give it another block update uh, that's the way I think it's working at the moment I didn't realize that I thought it was uh, growing there um, but apparently it's to do with the block update as well so that's interesting to know uh, at least I think that's the problem and this wandering trader is gate crashing my video hello there sir do you have anything interesting no you don't so just just leave it please thank you so anyway so we've got that sorted anyway as you can see it's uh, working it just has a few hiccups here and there so now what we need to do is most likely make a leaf crusher so we can get some of the saplings back and that's not exactly hard I think we can use this row and then place pistons on this side facing that way there not that way that way and then we can go make a wall of pistons on this side and the same on the other side all right so we've got our piston walls in now so it's time to uh give them power so i think i'm going to use this observer again to uh give the pistons the power so we need to power this row and this row pretty much at the same time as this pushes so i think we can do that by just adding redstone on that side and down here as well uh, there so let's just double check that these guys will extend when we power them so that powers only them three apparently and that will power them too so I've got the redstone completely wrong it needs to be on that side there on the top there I think unless I've got this completely wrong as well so that's them too and then was it up here as well isn't it yep and then redstone up here and then this will be the other two yep so then I just need to give these two redstone p lines power and the same on this side so we can get rid of that line and that line there they're just uh, marker blocks to help place the pistons anyway and then we can red run redstone there and then we just need to power this so we run it from this redstone line here probably there is a good size spot so let's run that there and then the same on the bottom which is going to be a bit more of a pain to get to uh, don't think we can just power block there can we no we need to power these two blocks uh, so let's figure this one out and I'll uh, show you guys what I've done also I've had to move the green line or change the green line a bit as well just to so I can 
replace these piston walls and so that it doesn't interfere but anyway let's uh, see what we can do with powering the these pistons here all right so i figured out the redstone for these piston walls now so it's quite simple it's just uh, running redstone into this line and the other line like this so we've got re a repeater there going from this power source here and then that leads into these pistons and the pistons on the bottom powering all of them and the same on the other side so when we give this block an update all the pistons will extend so as you can see they all extended but these ones on the side extend first before this one but it's literally a slight millisecond so you could just about see it there that's so that the leaves get crushed before the wood actually moves on uh, I just thought that was a pretty cool little thing uh, to do uh, so yeah, so now we've pretty much got the uh, wood side of things done. It's just moving the wood and then uh, getting rid of it so we can store it, shall I say. Uh, so let's get rid of this and test what we've got. And then think about how we're going to uh, turn this into blocks without using an axe. Alright, so we've... Before we do that, there's one thing I have forgot to do, and that is the uh, bone mill dispensing to actually grow these trees. So the way I'm going to do that is with a dispenser full of bone mill, and you can probably add a hopper with a chest going out that way so that you can refill it if you want, but I'm just going to do it manually for now. And then coming from this, we're going to have an observer like that facing into no facing the other way even like so and then we can have a sticky piston there down there even linking into an observer facing that way so that it forms a redstone clock and you can see this ticking so let's just leave that like so for now bugger off trader will you and then we just need to power this piston underneath here so let's just go over to this side quickly and I think that's a pretty decent area so then we can just run redstone from here into that piston let's just give it a repeater as well just in case and then I'm just going to use a lever for this one as well so if we now switch that off oh no it won't now it's off and now it's on again but notice when I switch it on from the uh, piston it a it's actually faster for some reason so I'll show you that again quickly so you can tell how fast it's clicking now and if I get rid of this and then place it again see how slow it is so I don't know why that is but a sticky piston with a clock like this makes it faster for some reason but anyway let's uh do that switch that off and then we should just be able to uh, grow our trees uh, probably a good idea to cover this up quickly though just so we don't get any saplings uh, falling from there and a collection system is probably another good idea as well so but that probably just means putting a load of hoppers around uh, but let's sort out the rest of this first and then we can sort out the collection for all the saplings and that I guess uh, so let's give this a try so all we need to do is place our saplings switch that on and wait for them to grow and it's growing not tall enough that's a bit of a shame that keeps happening it's a bit annoying so let's just do that <laughs> and now it's moved at least so yeah all right so i've moved this observer down a block now and the redstone to replace it was really easy to be fair it's literally just a couple of redstone dust and this is working so if we uh give that an update all these pistons do their thing and the same again uh there is a slight thing with these piston walls i think they could go in one more block as well to get rid of all these blocks uh there is a way you can double extend them but i'm not as sophisticated enough to do that kind of thing uh, believe it or not so uh, I think we can uh, move these guys in one more block but I think I might just leave it like this to be fair uh, because we it's the uh, sapling 
return I'm a bit worried about so I'm not entirely sure if we're going to get enough saplings if we uh, do move these in and also it might take longer for the trees to grow as well uh, so that might need testing but for now I'll leave it like this it seems to be working slightly better so if we plant a tree there and uh, wait for it to grow sometimes it does take a while which is a bit annoying see that moves and then we can plant another tree down and then that should move again and again so we've got that sorted now so the next thing to do is to uh, find a way to actually get rid of this or not get rid of it to uh, find a way how to uh, put this into a chest somehow or get rid of it shall I say not by mining it we're not going to be using an axe uh, we're going to be using uh, TNT I think alright so the first thing I'm probably going to do is build a TNT duper so I've got a block of obsidian there to mark out where I want the TNT to drop so let's just uh, check that you can at that doesn't destroy any of the redstone uh, it shouldn't do from this far it will destroy some of these blocks and there we go yeah it doesn't that's good so this is where I want the TNT to drop so we're going to be building a TNT duper quite far up here to be fair I think about here will be enough so the way you build a TNT duper is thanks to El Mango which is how I uh, learned how to do this so this is a block where the TNT is going to drop from so you want to build a formation like that then two like that so you've got this kind of shape here then you want to place a detector rail on there and then minecart then what you want to do is go down here and place two blocks two slime blocks there and there then grab some coral uh, of any kind it can be dead coral as well and place it there then you want two brick walls or any kind of walls and place the walls there and there and then you want to grab your TNT and place it on top of the wall like that then what you want to do is grab some pistons because you need to prime this so the way we prime this is basically put a piston on this side where the slime block is or on that side depending on the angle you're at so you place a piston like that and then we just power it and that's primed as you can see the TNT is no longer on the wall it's now on the slime block and that is your TNT duper done so how we dispense TNT is not like that we face a piston facing this way so it's hitting this minecart like that we can get rid of them then when we power this it dupes the TNT and I've done this off one block so I'm probably going to have to put some obsidian on there because sometimes it can actually um, drop on either one of these two blocks depending on when it launches so let's do that again so it's primed and now we can launch it and it's nine times out of ten going to be on this block but it's blowing up some of this wood as well which is awesome and it doesn't seem like I'm going to meet a push limit anytime soon let's just check that quickly so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so the push limit will be there which is pretty decent actually although this could be moved slightly to the right as well so we could move this over this side a bit like that and maybe one more yeah i think one more will do so we could move it there and that shouldn't destroy anything else but it should be all right for the uh blowing up of the wood so we can do that and that should be all right then and we can get rid of this obsidian there so now we've pretty much got a system where we can blow the living hell out of uh wood if we wanted to so let's just put that back quickly using these i'm going to leave these pistons here because we're going to set this up to a clock now all right so i've got the redstone for the tnt duper now we're basically pushing these two pistons using these redstone timings so on this piston we've got four ticks and then another three ticks so it's that repeat run three ticks and that repeat run four ticks and on this side we've just got this repeater going into this block 
make sure that this block here there's nothing here so this wall can actually move uh, because otherwise it won't dupe the TNT so that's why we've got a red redstone repeater going into this block to power that piston on two ticks and then that's pretty much it then we can uh, use this redstone line to power it if we want so if we press that button you can see that it dispenses but it also goes back as well which is exactly what we want so now what we can just do it which is easy enough is just hook this up to a um, clock and I'm just going to use a hopper clock for this one all right so we've finished with the TNT now I think I've basically got it going into a hopper clock over here then into this redstone circuit which uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's called but it basically gives an output from this hopper here that uh, then goes into this it's basically to do with timings uh, I think but this is the way I th I've got it to work anyway you could probably just use that redstone but I like this way anyway because it converts a solid redstone pulse into just a single couple of ticks which I'm pretty happy about uh, so I really like this redstone circuit um, and it works as well so we've got the TNT sorted so if you if we wanted to we could just hook this up to this lever over here but I'm just going to leave them separate for now all you need to do to stop this is to power one of these pistons like that basically uh, and that will stop that TNT dispenser all right so moment of truth now we've got enough wood that it's actually reached the obsidian so we can't really grow much more uh, because if we do then that block will still be there so it's time to uh, give the uh, TNT a go then and let's just switch it on and that will dispense momentarily it probably hit the top hopefully not ah oh, yeah it does hopefully that doesn't blow anything up over here though no it didn't look like it did so we're safe and then it should just blow all them up which it does and we're getting some on there which is unfortunate and then it gets destroyed that's a bit unfortunate if you ask me uh, maybe we could have the TNT drop onto the actual wood itself uh, I think that might be a good idea and then we could have this obsidian down down a couple of blocks as a safety mechanism in case there's nothing there I think that might be a good idea all right ladies and gentlemen so moment of truth it's time to uh, test this thing properly so I've put a rudimentary item collection system in here as well it's just a water stream leading into some hoppers so that will give us a good idea of uh, what rates this farm will give us uh, so I haven't hooked up this to anything yet uh, as I say I'm not going to but if you wanted to it is possible to hook up this observer here to this TNT duper as well if you really wanted to uh, so I might try that out at a later date but for now let's uh, give this a go and uh, see what ha see what kind of rates we get I'm only going to uh, run it for about 10 minutes or so and then uh, see what happens after that so let's switch the TNT duper on then we can switch that on for the bone mill and then we just sit here and uh, grow some trees and there we have it ladies and gentlemen 10 minutes later and and some of my uh, item streams have uh, kind of got destroyed but no worries there it's only a few br bricks so the moment of truth how much have we got in 10 minutes and that is one stack and 41 and that's really good considering uh, I haven't really uh, been bothering with the saplings so I'm not entirely sure about the saplings but with that all you need to do really is just put a load of hoppers down on the ground to be honest with you for the saplings so if we put hoppers down like that probably like that and then we can end them all into one or two hoppers that will probably give you most of the saplings back I reckon I think I'm going to leave it there for now so I think I hope I showed you guys a good understanding of how this farm works and uh, be sure to uh, put some stuff in the comments if you don't understand it I will try and answer your comments if I can 
Uh, also, this is for Minecraft Java as well, so I'm not entirely sure about Bedrock, so just bear that in mind. But thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please click the like button, and if you really liked it, then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads. I've been Mighty High, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye!